Hey yo together and very welcome to the start of 2 crazy replay today on Coda Ladder Edition with a TVP. As we have spawning in the top left position, it's the red protos Lille Luke J. And his opponent of Chris Mead is spawning in the bottom right position, it's the blue Terran Alex Sasher. And as you can see. I got the awesome SCV rush overlay and I can do cool stuff with that like points like here Woo. or for example stuff like oh wait there we go there we go best of one ha okay uh, yeah there we go whoopsie okay and finally we can see the kills and the rank and stuff like that so the WCS overlay wasn't working too well for me, but now I got an awesome overlay. I still have the structure slots, the unit slots tab, production tab, everything. I can zoom. Woo! Very good. So this game was called Crazy Replay TVP Epic, something like that. So it has to be a very good thing. And uh, this guy, I know him. I played him a couple of times now in Leather, and he's very good uh, in playing with playing Protoss, he knows what to do, how to do it, so a very potent opponent, very strong, and so a worthy, a very worthy game to watch, as you have the 12 Rex and the 12 Barracks, as well as the SCV Scout, and I'm going for the 13 SCV Scout nowadays, instead of the 12th one, it's a bit more economic, and if you know what to scout for, you can do it. Uh, I mean, if the probe comes in at this time, then it's most likely a uh, 13 gate expand, 13 gate, one gas expand normally. Uh, but you can be tricked as well, it's possible. Um, so, and what I really like is he's breaking, you can see the, the stacking, he's trying to break the stacking on those SCV. It worked only on that one for a, s a small portion of time, but still very annoying. And there we have the SCV and I can scout everything. I see there's no chrono boost. Uh, I see just one pi pylon. Uh, or maybe no, no pylon. Just a bit bad. I should have scouted for the cybernetics core. And the pylons. It's very important because this timing for the Nexus, I'm not really annoying here. I do nothing. I mean, you can put it down right now. So just five seconds. Ah. Not really much, but I didn't scout too much here. The good thing is for me, the Reaper is on the way, and the Mothership Core is a bit far away. So maybe I will be able to get a probe kill. Ah, almost. There we go, one probe kill. Very nice. And I get out again. And I see just one gas so far, so I'm fine. I could be worried about this pilot, but with the Nexus, I know everything is okay so far. And behind that we have a pesky probe here. Ooh. Ah, I want to get this SCV. Ah, there's a repair. Whoa, nicely done there. And I guess this probe will die as well. Most likely. Yeah, bye bye probe. So two probe killed so far in total. Which is not too bad. Oh, look at the units lost. Tab. You can now see the resources lost here as well. And you have the income below the resources mined. And you have the work account and the army count below the supply numbers, which is so nice. I really love this overlay. So awesome. Really nice. So the Reaper not really grabbing the watchtower, unfortunately. And we have a Twilight Council and a Forge behind that. So blink and plus one, I guess, with the Stalker. Uh, but this could be a safety Stalker as well. So we will have to wait and see. Uh, for me, of course, the Widowmind drop. Very strong. So the game slowed down just a little bit here. What we will see is upgrade. Very important to know that. Uh, interestingly, he crow boosted out the stalker. But yeah, at the six minute mark, having just the mothership core is a bit risky. So I can understand that. Then we have the cannon. So he's going for the cannons uh, to be safe against the Widowmind drop, which is very popular nowadays. So I really like that. And Stalker patrolling, Mothership Core patrolling, just in case of the Reaper. I would like to see the Mothership Core at the ramp and the uh, Stalker patrolling. 
just because then you are able to photon overcharge both next side. Uh, if the natural would be under attack right now, he has to send the mothership core up there first to be able to cast it. So, yeah, minor things, very minor things. There yeah, we have some SUVs, uh, marines, sorry, and the mines as well. And worker wise, it's quite equal. So, as you can see in the income, I'm a bit ahead. The Reaper here. Poking at those stalker. Oh, he needs to be very careful. He trades a Reaper for a stalker. Not a very good trade, I would say here. And now he goes in with the Mother Trooper here. There is a cannon, so we will see how much damage those Wildermines can deal. There is Blink. And how many probes will go down? He might lose the stalker there. Oh, that's unfortunate there. Loses a couple of probes. Not too many. He might lose the. Oh, the Mother Trooper as well. There is a stalker being warped in, and this cannon helping out a lot as well, so not too bad. Uh, but need to be careful, but I don't think that those marines can deal too much damage here. Behind that you see the raven and the tank. Ooh, he might lose the stalker there, maybe not, the medivac, very low. The stalker a bit injured here, but I guess he will be able to clear this. Uh, just 8 probes and down 9 probes. Uh, yeah, very good. Very well done, good defense, but in the end, I'm a head worker and as a Protoss you never want to be able, and uh, you never want to be even with a Terran who got double orbital command, so that's not, not a spot you want to be in, but he's okay, he lost a couple of probes, a lot of mining time, he lost the Mothership Core unfortunately, but he's not in a very tough spot, he will be able to move across with the Stalker. Which is indeed a bit risky, um, to be honest, there could be more drops on the way. Does he know? No, he knows nothing. And there's a tank, there are a bunker, uh, a robotics facility on the way, more stalker coming. So he can contain, soft contain me and pressure me a little bit. But he also could go full in A and go for the attack and all in. But he needs to be careful there, ooh, not too much damage dealt. Ooh, perfectly at 80, at 0 of 80 shields he left, so no real damage dealt here for Luke. Uh, yeah, 8 stalker, they can't really pressure this, as there are more and more tanks coming, more production facilities, more factories of course. And tanks are indeed not too bad, I would love to see this tank being a bit more behind, so that you can't easily jump on top of it and kill it, but nice spread as well. And behind that of course, the third base, as we love and know it. Uh, more and more tanks are coming for the Protoss. Uh, no upgrade so far, so he could work on them. I assume he got 100, 100, it's fine. Robotics bay goes down. That's the problem, he still doesn't know about me going mech, so... Ooh, but there's an Immortal. Which is really helpful, Immortal is a good way to start. Especially if you have to wait for the robotics bay to finish, you can use the facility to crank out one immortal. That's okay. And there we go, plus one attack. Mm. I'm interested in how long I will stay on two bases, because I wanna take another base ASAP, of course. But the problem is I have nothing to buffer, so that's the Hellions. That's what the, these Hellions are for, I guess. Because Blink Stalker are really good against tanks. I mean, they can kill a lot of stuff there, deal a lot of damage, which is really annoying. And we have a small Hellion run by attempt, gets deflected, and yeah, then that, third base, ready, but not running, he needs to saturate it first. He got a bit of overmining on both bases going, but he still doesn't know it's mech. I mean, he can assume there are Hellions, tanks, so, where's the observer? He has... N Ooh, just one observer, and it's right here with the mothership core. So yeah, those blink stalker can keep me back quite a lot, which is really annoying. But ooh, I like that as well. With the Raven and Viking searching for any observer there to kill, uh, maybe I will transform those hellions into hellbats. There we go. And yeah, I got a lot of SCVs. I'm finished with SCV production. I just need to make sure that I take the base really soon, because those 8 stalker, nine, 11 stalker now, they can be very annoying. Loses one, unfortunately, but kills two mines, which is okay. 
And yeah, what I think is good against Blink Stalker would be the Thor. And of course the Hellbats. As you can kill them, blink a little bit, trade a little bit, be annoying. Ooh! Hallucinated Phoenix, he's now the mech, now he knows. Of course, with the army as well, he saw the Vitamines. Ooh, need to be careful. Need to be very careful there. Don't want to lose any of those Stalker. And because army supply wise, not looking too good here. Uh, loses another stock and a second one as well, so he's killing those Hellbats and that's really nice, but he loses a lot of Stalker here in the process. And behind that I can finally take my third base, I really should transfer some units. Scans goes down, and with the Vikings, ooh, PDD, very helpful here. Just 20 seconds, but that's enough to set up and split his base, so I can pressure this one. There are a couple of cannons as well as some gateways. And I might lose all those Vikings! Ooh, and I do so. Ah, Hallucinated Colossi, very good. Scans are there, but somehow, some way. Good blink! We lose most of those Stalker. Ooh, that was a good bit of mine shot there. Ah, uh, but this Thor. Ah, uh, so close the Colossus does survive the other one as well. And uh, where's the Observer? He has non Observer. So needs to be careful not to go down there with his army. Finally there's the transfer of the worker. And behind that we see a, a fourth command center. I would like to see the transition into some starport soon. But we will have to see and wait. Double robotics facility and a lot of gateways. Indeed very helpful as well as the Twilight Council and uh, the Temple Archive. So that definitely will help him. And he will be able to clear most of those Vitamines. Drilling Claws, not ready, not in production. But we got one plus one attack upgrade, which is good. Ooh, those Hellbats chasing that army, that's not very good. Ah, Vitamines got a couple of kills there. Uh, but this small force, I guess it's too small, to be honest. There are a couple of Vikings here, mm, they get cleared. Not the best control, Scan goes down, tanks are shooting. Ooh, good blink on top of the tanks, loses a couple of stalker there, a lot of stalker indeed. But still, the Colossi stays strong. Ooh, but there's no anti-air, he will, just two stalker, so he will lose the Mothership Core most likely. Ooh, maybe not! I could have killed the Mothership Core. Uh, loses a Viking here, no, doesn't lose it. But I guess he will be able to force me to lift up. No, the second, okay, double factory here. But I really would like to see Stalker, uh, Starports for the Banshee against the Immortal or Maybe the Ghost. Uh, Vikings killing the Colossus as well as the Mothership Core. Good splash damage from those Hellbats, but in the end it's not enough as it looks like. Hmm, those Stalker too much here. Vikings are landing, going down. The Hardened Shields from those Immortals are just way too strong. And I guess I will be forced to lift up. I'm losing a lot here trading. Like that isn't really good. I might lose this Raven as well. Oh yeah, one HP and it goes down. So don't go one by one with the mech army. That's not gonna work. Ooh, two vigilant. Two stalker. Loses both of them. Not paying attention here. So that's good with the Vitamind. Ooh, look at oh so many kills. <laughs> not bad at all. Income wise. 66 against 85. Uh, that's a bit too many SCVs, to be honest. Yeah. Attempt taking a fourth, which is good. Upgrades for both players are okay. I mean, plus two is ready for me. I got Drilling Claws on the way already as well. Finally, to be honest. Uh, we have plus two upgrades for the Protoss player, plus two attack. Here we go with the shield and the armor as well behind that. Very good. And a fourth base. Very good. So what can we see now? Where's the double star? There we go, double starport. We should start Banshees soon. Which is indeed really helpful. And ooh, this attack. This attack could deal a lot of damage, I guess. Yeah, because there are no sensor turrets, I don't see this. And he will be able to cancel this base and Kill some SCVs, very nicely good harassment. Fortunately for me I got that many, but we will be able to cancel it in time. No cancel, no reaction at all. 
So that was very sloppy. Scanning the army. Ah, going for the observer. So the observer are light mechanical units, so they don't take extra damage from the Vikings. And uh, the Vikings. So now I can't look at the Vikings. Uh, they deal 12 damage each shot. So 24. And uh, that means it takes them three volleys to kill our observer. Uh, there's just one left. So the goal is with the kind of play I am playing is with the Vikings. You try to snipe the observer so that he can't see the Vitamins and the Banshees and then you can go ham on them and just kill them. All those units, the Immortal, the Archons, the High Templar, Ooh, but that looks like a High Templar drop, I like this very much, as there are no turrets, good there is no mining at all here, just a little bit on those refi uh, refineries. Finally we can see the remaining resources in those as well as in the mineral patches. Who the hell can spots it, but will I pay attention to it, I guess not as I'm too focused on harassing, but there are a lot of cannons. And this is what I like about Luke as well. He knows, okay, harassment can be strong with mag, hellions or so on. So he goes for it, for a lot of cannons. Where's this observer? It is with the army. But where? There it is! Will it be sniped? It could be! Yeah, it gets sniped! So he doesn't see the banshees, nor the mines. Which is really annoying. Unfortunately for me, he's going back to the cannon, so he got the vision. Ooh, loses the war prison there. But not the High Templar. Uh, but as you can see, with no detection, two Banshees can chase a whole army. And behind that, I can bring the rest of my army in position. I should have a second uh, tower right here, a sensor turret. Gun goes down, I see the army, and there we see Ghost Academy and additional barracks. And this is very key now, because Vitamines are nice, they are like an EMP, but having EMPs with Ghosts is so huge, look at that, he got like 11 Immortal, and a ton of, yeah, 6 High Templar. Imagine EMP lands on all that army, like, that would be so huge, but it will take a little bit more time here. There we have it! He doesn't see anything! Oh, it takes a bit of damage there. Backs up. But it, he can't engage at that many Widow Mines. He got three Observer, that's good. Dark Templar Shrine behind that, so... There are no Widow Mines, nor are there Helvets to deal with that, so... He could deal a lot of damage here, there is no Planetary. Ooh, goes forward, tries to, to, to kill some Observer, I get two of them. Which is not enough. Behind that you see four more Vikings being produced. Uh, yeah, I definitely are too heavy on SCVs. I need to kill some of them, trade some of them, to be able to get the ghosts, because ghosts are really good. He's so clumped. It's not a really good split. It's okay, but could be better. And the upgrades, 1-1-3 one, one, against 2-1. Okay. A uh, big salad run by will definitely be able to shut this base down again and maybe deal some damage at the third base here. Scan goes down, I see a lot of us army so I'm trying to kill the observer again which is not gonna happen. He's on 5 observer already. Ooh. There we go, SUV's gonna get killed. A lot of SUV's indeed, that's way too much. Ooh, I see it now. Now I see his army. Those observers are a bit low. I wonder why that is. And ooh, I backed up. It's a good concave, this tank. Oh, he can't go up there. But he tries. You know, Storm lands on a part of this Hellbat, but... Ooh, carefully with the High Templar. Loses a couple of them to the Hellbat fire. And oh, so many banshees to kill all those salads. And that's expensive now because yes, he got a bank, and yes, they only cost minerals. Look at that, so many DTs. 8 DTs, and they deal 60 damage each, each swipe of their warp blades. Which is huge, to be honest. Face disruptors. And what have the stalker? Particle disruptors. And the mothership core has the repulsor cannon. Okay. So Banshees with plus 3 dealing a lot of damage. Mm. 
So army wise it's 150 against 120 and we see nukes being made. So nukes are very smart. They can zone out an army very nicely or force an engagement. Ooh this tank gets cleared. Ooh be careful. Be careful there with your stalker. So the game slowed down a little bit. We have ghosts. How many ghosts are there? We have 7 High Templar against 6 ghosts which is a good amount. So the ghost being able to cloak as well. So with the Wither Mines, the Banshee and the Ghost, if I'm able to kill all the Observer. And he got a ton of them, like 9... Oh, but he should spread them! He got the Observer Speed Upgrade as well, which is nice. But if they are that clumped, they could die to a to an EMP, Viking Fire or maybe a Wither Mine. And there goes the scan, I see his army. And mm, he goes in. Here's the Wittermines, there are the ghosts! The MP lands on a lot of this army! Wittermines shooting! Oh, that's not looking too good here! But the stalk at the same time going in and the tank fire! Oh my god, all those stalkers go down! Unseaching! Oh, all those immortal! The storm lands on almost nothing! And in the end, he's dealing a lot of damage, but now he traded away a lot of his army. Look at the supply! He's on zero! <laughs> he lost all his units! And behind that he lost all his observer as well. So High Templar are nice, but there are Banshees. Sure he got cannons, but uh, Banshees kill cannons quite fast. As you can see the damage output is indeed very high and the ship plating helping out as well. So there are the Vitamines going in position and he will lose this Nexus for sure. He is, oh that's good fortified position there, but yeah there are. There are the Banshees, so he warps in a couple of salads. Yeah, his High Templar, there is our... Uh, okay, ooh, carefully, the Venomites! Ooh, oh god, losing so many probes, now he's down to 47. And he got a bank, yes, but... Oh, uh, not saturating this gas, guys, there is indeed a bit of a blunder there. Oh, uh, he might lose all those High Templar! Oh god, he is forced to warp them into Archons, the Venomites! Helping out a lot here, nullifying all those shields and the Ardark Templar, there's the scan. Ooh, that EMP was very strange. There's the scan, no blue flame on those Hellbats, which is indeed very bad. But yeah, there's the next attack and you can see how fast the warp gate falls to those Banshees. Banshees are just so good. He got the Observer now, so he can't hear all those Widow Mines, but in the meantime, he might lose another Nexus and then he's on one binding base, uh, one mining base only. Uh, clearing all those mines very nicely without taking any damage there. Very good, but he lost the Nexus. He's down 60 supply and army supply wise 93 against 27, which is not really good. The Banshees will spot this base, will kill it, and yeah, he got a lot of minerals, but he can't deal any damage with them. I mean, salads are nice, but you wanna run into that location, you don't wanna run into that location with the salads. Well, maybe here, but still, it wouldn't matter. I got the income, look at the mule hammer. Oh my goodness. And yeah, oh, EMP lands on all that army! So he has to back off, the Nexus will fall, he will remake one Nexus at this fourth place there, but Banties, man, they're really good. And the problem is Phoenix, yeah they can work, but against Widowmind Ghosts? Not really too good. Oh, uh, Widowmind's! Oh, killing a lot of stuff there. EMPs go down again, cloaking stuff. Sure they are the Observer, but it doesn't matter at all. Too many Banshees, too much firepower, there we go, GG is called. That was a very interesting game. So I have two more to cast, watch out for them. I hope you enjoyed, that was a good game, I liked it, I liked it a lot. To cast, to play, was fun, hope you enjoyed as well. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.